Hi, let's talk about how to publish something to the library and use it in another file. I'm going to call the publishing side the library file and the using side the host file. Let's go to the library file. So here I've got Wonderboy that I borrowed from our creative team. It seems pretty complicated. It's got a lot of arrows. Um, I'm not sure what each does, but maybe we can uh, look for some clues in the data it takes. So we notice that Wonderboy understands character and character is defined as having a point, a hit trigger, some states and direction. Let's just see uh, what it does. So I've got it playing. What if I select running? Okay, it's running and we can change its directions and we can get it hit or not, and then we can get it to jump. Perfect. That's probably all I need to know about this character. Okay, how do we make this available to the library? So first of all, let's indicate that it is reusable by marking it as a component, so selecting this thing. And we can go to publish library from here or uh, via export. And it starts off as everything selected, but we probably don't need to expose point because uh, there's probably no need to use that directly. We we'll probably just want Wonder Boy. And as for view models, let's first deselect everything. Um, if we, as we noticed earlier, we were controlling Wonder Boy through triggers and states and that kind of thing. So we have to, ex if we want it to be dynamic, we probably have to expose character. Otherwise we could export Wonder Boy like so, but it would just be kind of idle, you know? So notice that once we select character, a bunch of other things get selected. And that's because character is defined as depending on points. So if you were to export character, it would need to also export points. And uh, hit is trigger, state is an enum, so we also need to, it depends on a bunch of other things, that is. And so by selecting just kind of the root of, the root of it all, we also have to select a bunch of other things. And without any, um, some interactions might not work as expected. Okay. So now we selected all that we need to select. We can publish the library. And once it's published, we notice that it is marked with a special icon. And uh, let's head over to the host file now. Under environment, we start off as pretty uh, simple. <laughs> and under assets, we notice a similar icon. And once we select it, we notice that there is just one available. And that's because only libraries from the same project will be available. So going here, uh, we can select Wonder Boy, and then we notice um, thumbnails probably take a while to load. Uh, but we notice that once we select Wonder Boy, uh, we can add it to this file, or uh, we can just make sure that our um, background is selected and then we can just also um you know drag it in and once you do we notice that the uh component instance icon shows up and uh it's as if we had defined wonder boy in this file and just reused it um yeah reused it in this library uh, in this in this file okay and uh, once we have it in, we make sure we, we go to the data panel and notice that uh, the character it depends on is loaded in and all its other dependencies. Great, let's go to character. Uh, seems to be looking fine. And uh, we go to Wonder Boy. And uh, this, this is a file that contains all the definitions of the view models that came from it. And of course, you can select, you can toggle the view to Go, go to your folder organization view, but um, by going to source or type, we can see all the things that came from the same library file. And to make a move, uh, we can select the artboard uh, and supply it with character. Um, and that's it. And let's see, we can probably get it to run, get it to stop. And get it to turn around, It'll jump, get hit, and all that good stuff. Perfect. 
So now let's walk through where uh, everything is. So I already mentioned that uh, under assets, this is where we see all our uh, reusable stuff. Um, Wonder Boy under source and type uh, will contain all the things that came from that library file. And so our Wonder Boy was a component that came from Wonder Boy. Perfect. And uh, a similar idea exists under data. Uh, cool. And notice that because a character came from uh, this library file, Wonder Boy, um, we can't really, you know, contrary to if we had created a view model here, uh, we can add properties to it, but because it came from the library, um, we shouldn't and probably uh, we, we shouldn't modify its structure. Um, and uh, but we can you know create new instances to it um, as we normally do. Okay, um, yeah. Similarly, uh, data enums that came from the library cannot uh, really be modified either. You cannot delete anything. You cannot add anything. Okay. So uh, another, oh, something that could happen is probably like perhaps down the road, uh, you really don't want Wonder Boy to be uh, interactable. Uh, maybe you're working on like a more static scene and uh, perhaps we accidentally or something deleted, deleted all the data that Wonder Boy needs. Um, then if you wanted to bring back, bring that back, you can go back to assets, go to the uh, library file that contains uh, Wonder Boy, and then we notice that there is a warning here that says missing dependencies. This is basically saying Wonder Boy may depend on something to make its interactions be more complete. And so to bring back all the view models like character, direction, and whatnot, and click this add missing dependencies button. And once we add that, uh, you know, all the good stuff from Wonder Boy, all the view models came back and we can uh, go back to making that uh, interactive. Okay, yeah, a similar concept exists for view models too. If we say accidentally deleted direction, um, go to Wonder Boy, notice that same thing. Uh, this, this structure is now incomplete. It needs direction. So we can just bring it back by clicking this button. All right, so today we looked into how to publish a library and how to use it in any host file. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching.